Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm getting back into watercolor. Um, I've been away from it for a while. I've been doing a lot of cartoons and stuff, so... Um, but before I get into a painting, I'm going to be just putting some paints into my brand new palette. Or not really new, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, my girlfriend got this for me uh, back on our anniversary. So I'm just gonna ditch this old one and I'm gonna start anew so I'm just putting in the paints kind of like in a Roy G Biv order so after yellow I'm gonna do uh, raw sienna so it's good to have some pliers actually sometimes because when the paint gets very low and it's hard to kind of squeeze out of there you can kind of squeeze it with these pliers and get the last bits of it out just like that just gonna put that away uh, let's see so after Rossiana I'm gonna use one of my favorite colors Van Dyke Brown just gonna put that it's also good to have pliers when you use some paint and the paint causes the cap to get stuck. It's kind of good to use pliers to kind of get that off. Alright, so Van Dyke Brown next. Just gonna put a bunch in there. Next, um, let's see, gonna do some green. Green in the next one. A bunch of green. This is an awesome palette. It's kind of cool because it's got a lot more compartments than my old one, so. Sometimes it's nice to just have extra colors so you don't have to keep mixing them. Alright, so we got green. Now I'm gonna put next to green this like a turquoise. A whole bunch. Remember it's you know, you can um, let this dry and you could just keep using it, so it's okay if you just put a bunch of paint in there and you don't use it all today. It's a beauty of a watercolor. Alright, so we got turquoise. Um, next, I'm going to do another one of my favorite colors. Ultramarine blue. I'll put a bunch in there. I actually bought a giant tube of ultramarine blue because I use it all the time. It's great for mixing with other colors. Alright, so we got ultramarine. What else we got? Go put some purple right next to that. Some purple. bunch of purple. Okay. Here is cerulean blue. I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that over here. And it's kind of out of Roy G Biv order, but I wanna mix it. Get confused between the blues, so I'm gonna put that over here. So you can see I used this already. Cerulean blue. Kind of like a light. I, I use this one for like sky colors and stuff like that. Alright. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Burnt Sienna. I have raw Sienna. 
We got some burnt sienna. A little bit different. It's more of like a reddish kind of brown. I'm going to put that between the orange and the yellow. Let's see what do we got. Ivory black. I'm gonna put some black in there. I don't use black often, but you know sometimes I'm in a rush. I need to. I don't feel like mixing colors. Uh, put the black. Hmm. Let's keep the black separate too, because when it's wet, it kind of looks the same with these blues. So I'll put the black over here. put on here now is There's so much paint I'm going through as you can see <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put in some white white's another one I don't use often but you never know okay I'll put that next to the black I'm gonna use pliers for this one it's a tough one So that is it for now. Got a bunch of colors in there. I'm ready to go. I'll, you know, get some more colors eventually and add them in there. But I'm ready to paint. So there's my palette. Brand new palette. I got to break it in. So thanks for watching, everyone. Happy painting. <laughs>